when you arrive at the machine, you will usually, uh, the first thing you need to do is to vent it. Once it's vented, you open it up and you load your wafers inside before you load your samples. It can be a good idea to exchange the plastic sheet that's protecting the new port in the lid of the load lock. Um, so you will most likely need to get on to a step. And then you reach across and you, you loosen this metal uh, clip and you take out the plastic sheet. There's also a glass piece behind here. So use a metal clip to ensure that the, the glass doesn't fall down. Then you take a fresh piece of plastic from this box and you will find uh, next to the Temescal. Um, these pieces can be a little bit dusty. So it can be a good idea to wipe them with a clean room wipe. And then you just put them in place in the top. You can actually load uh, samples in two different ways. Um, one way is to take out the sample holders from the hula. So you lift up the sample holder and then uh, you let it slide down. Um, so there's a little, a little tap here uh, at the top of the, the pole holding the sample holder and that's what locks it into place on top of the hula. If you're gonna load a sample then you can can just uh, put it in. The four inch wafer fits snugly in here. Of course the side to be deposited is uh, is gonna face downwards towards uh, the source. And then you just put it back in place. like this. It just takes a little bit of practice, but you'll soon be fast uh, at loading your samples. So the second way of loading your samples is actually just to put in the wafers while the sample holders are inside of the machine. And uh, depending who you are, you will find one or the other easier. Yeah, so when, when you load um, a four inch wafer, or any wafer, make sure that you fasten it securely with clips uh, and also fasten, in this case there is an insert for the 4 inch wafer, make sure that's also fastened. If you have small parts, uh, small samples, then you can attach them with clips to one of these kinds of inserts that can then fit inside of the, the 4 inch wafer holder. Again, you need to fasten it with the clips. When you have small samples, it's important to make sure that they are firmly attached. And that's uh, both because um, if they're not firmly attached, they might actually sit on an angle, hang a little bit below the sample holder, um, which means you're not going to get uh, exactly the deposition angle you were expecting. But the other reason, <laughs> which for me is very important, is that uh, if a sample falls into the source, that is uh, very problematic. That, that would not be good for the machine. And it, it, could al it would also certainly destroy the material in the source. So, so be careful. Attach your samples well. When you load your wafers, please uh, make sure that the hula is more or less balanced. So that means that uh, there should either be four or two of the same kind of sample holders in place. And if there's only two, um, you should make sure they're across from each other. That could, for example, be um, if you're going to put in some bits, some small samples, and you put them in on one of these inserts on, on one side, then please make sure that you also put another insert on the other side, because they're quite heavy. So we want to make sure that the hula is balanced when it's rotating. If you want to uh, tilt your sample during the deposition to actually get sidewall deposition perhaps, um, then you can use uh, this tilted sample holder. And we have uh, at the moment two different sizes of sample holders for it. Um, this small one is able to be tilted very high. The larger one here is of course limited uh, by the size and what angle it can be tilted to. Uh, but on both of them, you can attach uh, your sample with, with clips, and you can and the 
sample rotation will work for these samples as well. Since we did the first video, we have now gotten vacuum tweezers, which are on the right of the Timiskel. So just use that for loading your wafer, if you prefer.